Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Eric McGrew with Eric's Tree Service. Today I am coming to you to talk about the Solid or Forester jacket. Um, this jacket has, a number of people have asked about it uh, when I mentioned that I was buying it or that I had received it. A number of people said, well, we want to know what it's like. Um, what do you think about it? So I'm going to give you my review of it. Now there are some pros and cons to it like everything. If you know me, I try to be balanced with this stuff. I, I don't like to hate on products by any means. I think that they're built for just about every, or everything has its purpose, I should say, for a certain segment of people. Now, I will say that I'm pretty surprised with how nice this jacket is. Um, I didn't expect it to be this nice. Uh, I had seen some other climbing jackets and I wasn't super stoked on them. And therefore I went to trying other um, pieces of clothing for climbing so if you look in my videos um, i have a video review of the cool relic uh hoodie and then i our uh soft shell and then i have um a champion one that i bought from target now they all had their pros and cons and in the end the cons won out over the pros on those two for me for the purpose that i have just understand that we're talking about for climbing right for tree climbing but this jacket has surprised me completely. So let's talk about a few of the features that this jacket has. It's too cold, I'm not taking this thing off. Um, it's like 14 degrees right now or something like that. So I will go over it and let you know what it's got and, and show you um, some of the main features that I like about it and some of the things that I'm not so happy with. So first off, it is very slim fit, okay? So that is a total pro to me because this thing fits like I wanted it to. It doesn't bunch up and get caught up in my friction device. It doesn't cause me any problems. It has a really low back on it. And what that does is it allows it to stay inside the saddle. It has a little bit, if you saw those little lines on it. Those are friction lines. It's like Cordura back there. So this thing has some Kevlar and Cordura in it and different things like that. And that low tail keeps this thing inside my saddle when I'm climbing it. I have yet to have it come out of my saddle. And if you've seen some of my recent photos of some of the cottonwood takedowns that I did, I was in all kinds of dynamic positions working and it ne like even with my arms extended and it never pulled out. The arms are a good length for me they're not too short they're not too long um so i really like that they have these nice little durable velcro pieces that you can uh make it you know smaller or leave it open i tend to leave mine a little bit more open i like it that way it has a shoulder pocket on it which is nice it has reflective stripes on it which are nice of course this one is the orange and gray they have a red, yellow, and black one as well. If you like that, that's the main photo that comes up. I had to buy this one through Barlet Manufacturing online. Um, one thing that I definitely like about this jacket is that it has big pockets on the side and they zip up. And all of the zippers, every one of them is a quality zipper, man. This thing is like really nice. To, to work with it I never have problems getting it started it goes all the way up there's a little chin protector there so that the um, the zipper isn't digging into the bottom of your chin um, it has this little loop here you could put a whistle on or something like that if you wanted uh, it has a little ve uh, zipper here on the bottom on the left hand side I think there's a pouch you can buy that zips to it or something but I'm not really sure exactly what that is, to be honest with you. But the whole bottom has Cordura around it so that it, it has a lot of wear resistance on it. The sides have Cordura on them, which is nice because they're abrasion areas. The inside is not Cordura, but it's a um, stretch material that has a lot of um, resistance to it so it doesn't wear the outer area has some cordura in it now they say that these are cut resistant sleeves and they have kevlar mesh in them or fibers in them or whatever it unfortunately on solidor and on um 
Bartlett Manufacturing's website, they call them, they call this jacket a chainsaw jacket. Technically, it's not. There's not chainsaw protection in the arms or anywhere else. So why they call it that, I'm not real sure. But just so you know that, um, they call it a chainsaw jacket. It's not technically, it has chains uh, it has cut resistant arms but not chainsaw protection arms so that should be known um the upper area is breathable so all these mesh areas are breathable or all these stretch areas and then it has two big pockets on the chest area one on each side it has back vents here that you can unzip and you have a vent there um that vent is not terribly hard to open or close so that's good the sleeves actually zip off i don't know if you can see the zipper there sorry to show you my armpit but see the zipper there the sleeves actually zip off which also dual function as pit vents which is really nice for keeping yourself nice and cool in the jacket when you're climbing and you're getting hot now one of my favorite things that i'm super stoked about this jacket for is that the inside is a mesh it is not fleece thank you somebody understands i can't stand fleece inside of jackets um they condensate in my opinion too bad they cause tons of static and they also just have too much friction the sleeves i wear long sleeve t-shirts almost all year round and in the winter when i'm wearing them it bunches my sleeves up when i have fleece inside i do not like fleece inside my jacket and this one does not have it it has like two first aid or blood stop pack pockets in here in fact this one you can put um your name uh allergies and the company you work for or that it belongs to and then this one also you have for another blood stop pack or whatever you want. So um, overall, really, really like the jacket. I've washed it probably four or five times now. Never had any problems washing it. It doesn't fray. It's not coming apart. It, it, it cleans well. So, so far that's all good. Now, a couple of things about the jacket that might be considered cons. Okay. So what are the cons of this jacket? Well, this zipper here, if you don't have something attached to it, it, it kind of rubs on your pants and it can start to wear a little bit on your pants. So that's not ideal um, for sure. Second off is that the zipper, since the sleeve unzips, when you have it zipped, unzipped a little bit for um, like a pit vent, then it can start to unzip more so keep that in mind uh, you have to keep adjusting that a little bit and then even though this is a vent on the back to um air through your back where the mesh is and keep you cool the problem is when it's open i have found that it gets caught on stuff like twigs get in there and they want to call catch you and if you have your chainsaw in a sp specific area or a specific direction like this if you're cutting or even like this um, and you have it in your back cutting in on the top of the bar it can blow chips in there and it can build up chips inside there so that's not the best design um, but it's not the worst design either just so you know now this jacket is not insulated which to me isn't really a con but if you're expecting a jacket to be insulated for extremely cold weather this isn't the one for you. Um, it has no insulation inside it. It's just a shell, kind of. It is water resistant, That, uh, at least from my experience. I don't even remember if they claim it to be that, but it is water resistant. So if you're in heavy dews or light rains, it will run off, but it will eventually start to seep into the jacket if you're out there for long periods of time. So keep that in mind. Um, I have noticed that when I have my phone in here, and the screen is um especially facing my chest but inside here at all i have a tendency to have the phone condensate from my body heat building up in there so it does prove that it keeps you warm you can open vents and stuff a little bit more but being that close to your body because it's tight you know well not tight but fitted it might condensate on you if you sweat a lot so know that and the biggest complaint I don't want to say complaint. The biggest 
challenge with this jacket for me was sizing. So if you buy through Bartlett, which is the only company that I know of in the US that sells this jacket, um, if it doesn't fit, you have to pay return shipping on it. So know that. Now, what um, I found is that they said that the um, jacket fits true to size. Unfortunately, Solidor doesn't give a sizing chart that Bartlett has or anything. So it was kind of guesswork. If you wear a large jacket and a large jacket is loose on you, then this would probably fit you. And a good way that I would suggest to test that out is going to like um, REI or one of the outdoor sporting goods stores that sell like Columbia or North Face clothing or Patagonia, put on a large soft shell. And if it fits really snug to you, you want to buy an extra large in this jacket. That's what I'm wearing right now. This is an extra large. I usually wear a large, but the large just dug into my pits a little too much. Um, and it was just too tight across the chest, honestly. So um, I have a 44 size chest. So an extra large is snug or not snug. It's fitted, but not too snug. So it's good. Um, if you were wearing a 42, you might be able to fit into the large, but I don't know. Definitely, um, if you're in doubt, go a size up in my opinion, but that's just my opinion. And if you fit a, a medium, a small, or a large, and it's loose on you, even in uh, an athletic fit or a tailored fit, then a large, medium, or small would be equivalent in this jacket. If they're kind of tight on you, go a size up in my opinion. So that does bring me to one other con that this has. Um, it's not it's just part of the nature of it and i don't think it's terribly bad but you will probably notice it and that's that this cordora here isn't super flexible so when you sit in like the forerunner when i sit in it the seats are slightly bucket seats and that bending motion like that it bunches this together and since the cordora is kind of stiff it kind of digs into my sides a little bit and i don't want to say dig because it doesn't like dig hard it just puts pressure on my sides a little bit it doesn't hurt it's nothing like that it's just noticeable so maybe not the most comfortable thing but um honestly i only notice that when i'm driving in the truck with it so that should be something to know climbing i never notice it i don't feel it no big deal sitting in the the truck i think it's because the seats kind of push on the sides as well to kind of keep you stabilized and you're bent it, it just makes it move into um multiple uh, compression directions and the material being a little stiffer because it's that Cordura tends to kind of create little wrinkles that kind of poke inward so just know that but overall really like the jacket totally worth the money in my opinion so far um, I'll give you guys a year review or whatever on it as it goes or when something tears on it or whatnot do like the fact also i forgot there's another pro and that is that you can buy new sleeves so these not only remove to become a vest but you can actually buy just the sleeves and put them on there if you cut your sleeve or something like that and not have to replace the whole jacket and the sleeves are considerably cheaper so hope this helps you guys out hope you um have some idea now about what the jacket's like and what you might or might not like in it um, if you are looking for one, don't forget Bartlettmen.com is where you can get it. That's Bartlett Manufacturing. And they have them in the red, yellow, black, and also the orange, black, and gray. So um, really hope this helped you guys out. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button beside the um, up in my channel and then the bell beside the subscription button in YouTube. That way you won't miss a video that I'm putting out and let me know, is there a product that I have that you would like me to review or is there one that I have had that you would like to know about? Uh, let me know in the comments or send me a direct message through Instagram or whatnot and I will talk to you guys in the future. Thanks, see you soon.